Okay. <laughs> I was, um, well, every so often I go on my Sky News app, you wouldn't think it was linked through to that, but um, in their money section, they have occasionally have a recipe thing. Um, someone sort of talks about making this or that. And what caught my eye on this one was the ultimate um, Yorkshire puddings. And I did screenshot it at the time, but I didn't screenshot who, what chef, because I think it's always a, a name, you know, what chef had, had sort of made their, or given their top tips for the ultimate Yorkshire puddings. And when I read it, I was like, wow, uh, that looks really good and I need to try it. And I thought, well, I've got to. So I'm glad I screenshot the recipe, but I'm, I'm a bit annoyed with myself that I didn't give the information about what chef had said what. However, <laughs> I'm gonna do this chefy uh, Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> um, um, six eggs, six eggs, that's what we need. <laughs> it is, they do say, and I'll, I'll kind of read some of it, uh, because I, I will put it up here so you can look at read it yourself but it does say six eggs uh, which seems excessive but it will create the biggest Yorkies you've ever made <laughs> and also there was the other top tip of do not season until just before you put them in the receptacle um, a lot of you would already have these sort of top tips but it's one of these things I've battled with for years about Yorkshire's, I've ne I, I, for, for years I avoided making them because I thought, no, I can't do it. And when I tried, they'd be like little rubbishy things. Um, and I have managed to nail it a little bit. I have a, a vlog where I did um, on the Ninja. Um, I really felt like I nailed it then, but I didn't use six eggs. I, I think I've probably used only three. Anyway, that's why. Ow, and full fat milk. I just didn't, you know, this to me is well worth a trying. And I've written it all down, it's on my phone, as in etc. etc. So um obviously the fat, it does say goose or duck fat or beef dripping. I I'm using lard, which I think is basically like beef dripping. Mm, I could be wrong. Um, but that's what I have that's closest. I did try and find goose or duck fat, but it's in Lidl, as a lot of you know, that's where I shop. Um, and I wasn't prepared to go traipsing to other supermarkets just for that. I mean, petrol costs and all that malarkey. So I thought, I'll make do with lard. But if you did happen to have goose or duck fat and you was going to give this a go, then, um, I mean, I, Christmas, when it starts being available, I'm definitely buying it. So, six eggs. I mean, let's come, you know, come and have a look at the ingredients. <laughs> I won't list them here. Let's have a look now. Okay, so I've just got your normal, plain or all-purpose flour. Uh, the ingredients list will float up. It'll also be pinned in the comments and in the description. Six eggs, just six medium-sized free-range eggs uh, uh, from Lidl, these ones are. I will put a cost breakdown at the end of the vlog. I do try and do a cost breakdown on most of my recipes, unless it's something impossible gets in the way. That's 300 ml of uh, full-fat milk. Um, these ones, three will fit in my ninja drawer, so that's what these are for there. Um, and these are the B&M um, uh, pudding basin thingies I've got, and I thought they would be really good for Yorkshire's. So I've actually got, hold up, let me just get that out of the way. I've actually got five in a drawer here. I'm not going to do them all in one go, they're just for storage, and I'm going to do two big, big Yorkies in these other b &M. I thought I'd try out these like useful, uh, well, they're loaf tins, non stick air fryer. I think they were like £3 from BM, I can't quite remember. I think they were, yeah, £3 for two, and they were £3 for four um, for these BM thingies. I know the range was selling exactly the same for £3.49, so BM is the way, way to go for those, they're much better priced. Uh, we're going to mix, sieve in our flour into our milk, add in the six eggs and mix in with a hand blender. This is all the instructions that are on from the chef. <laughs> so I'm following it as closely as possible. I've got my seasoning there and I'll be do. I'll let, I'll let the batter rest, maybe for 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I'm not sure, it didn't actually say for how long, but I'm just gonna do 30 minutes and then come back and season and then we're gonna start cooking. So let's get this all, all in the bowl, um, blend it together and then let it rest before we go on to actually making the ultimate Yorkshire pudding <laughs> in the world. Where's that from? <laughs> I know you, a lot of you will know. Uh, anyway, yeah, 
I'll see you in a bit. Okay, milk, full fat. Right, we're going to sieve in the flour as per instructions from Anonymous Chef. Right, I'm gonna let that rest 30 minutes, so I'll see you in a bit. And we'll, um, when we get the, we'll get the uh, receptacles, the oil heated so much to the smoking point, that's what he says, then I'll season and literally just before I pour in. I might transfer this back into the jug as well um, to make it a little bit easier for pouring. See you in a bit. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, but the, the um chefy uh, instruction said at least 10 minutes but i thought 30 pretty good i am um, it's got nice and bubbly still so i am going to transfer it to a jug but while i while i'm doing that let's get this these heated up so uh the instructions these are oven instructions from the the chefy uh, ones um 180 which i think is 350 fahrenheit um, so 180 centigrade um, for 35 minutes. Now that's in an oven or gas mark four. That's in an oven. Everything, all the details will be, uh, you know, in the usual places. So <clears throat> we're going to do the same temperature, but it won't be for 35 minutes. Um, I'm thinking 25 minutes in the Kasori uh, oven or and also 20 minutes in the Ninja. So if you've got... a if you've got a brand that, that aren't either of those, then go for, for 20 minutes, uh, but maybe be prepared to add minutes if necessary. Because the key thing it said in the instructions was, do not be tempted to open the drawers to have a look uh, or, or whatever, or the oven, you know, even the oven. So that's gonna be quite tricky. Luckily for us, we've got a window on the Kasori so we can kind of watch them, but they really do need to be in for as long as possible. So 25 minutes, I think is fair in, a, in an air fryer as a translator between, from an oven instructions. Well, we'll see anyway. <laughs> so yeah, let's get this on. So 100, what, what do I want it on? Bake, 180. We want it on for 25 minutes, but we wanted to get it really to smoking point. Really melt that, um, uh, mm, lard or whatever oil you'd be using. So I've got mine there. Um, I'm going to do it in batches with these if I've got enough left because I actually wasn't sure. So let's get them in and on. Right. No, we don't want that. So just press it again and it will crack on. So while that's doing, oh, we've got to do the ninja. Let's just crack on, get the ninja on. I've taken the crisper plate out. Uh, bake 180 20 minutes but let's put 30 can you see what I'm doing we really want that oil to be boiling so let's get the transfer everything and season just at the last minute before I put them in so it's nice and thick actually can you see oh. It's nearly to the top. So yeah, right. When these, when this is all hot and ready, I'll see you then. And we're going to start. We'll season and pour. I'm just thinking. I'm going to up the temperature while I'm, I'm waiting for the oil to really cook because it seems to be taking a while. Right. See you in a minute. Okay. I'm going to season quickly. I'm going to throw the do the ninja one first. Let's get the one, um, get the ninja ones in. It says fill it up till it's nearly full, so three quarters, I'd say. 
There's a sizzle, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna get it back down to 180. Okay, the kasori. Okay, let's get this open quick and poured. to 180 350 Fahrenheit see then I'm not oh well we can see watch we can watch this one <laughs> I forgot about that see you in a bit They're looking great. Um, they've really exploded at the back. <laughs> uh, I've got two minutes to go. I did actually add five minutes. So in total, it's currently at 28 minutes. I may need to turn these upside down. I'm not sure yet, we have to check them. So once the two minutes are up, that'll be 30 minutes in the Kasori oven. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Right, let's have a look at the uh, Ninja. I haven't opened the drawer. Ooh, wow. Okay, um, I've turned them upside down and I'm going to reheat them. Oh, not reheat them. Just carry on cooking for a further, I don't know, same temperature. Just do it, stick to the same temperature for um, seven minutes. I might check them after five. Now let's go check the kasori. Okay. 30 minutes are up. Let's have a look at what the bottoms are like. What you can hear in the background is the ninja um, where I turn them upside down. Um, they're looking really good. Wow. I mean, the back ones really did explode. The, this one, I, I, I was running out, so it wasn't as much. But that, I'm, I'm really impressed. Massive. <laughs> right, let's have a look at, let's turn them upside down. I'll back to close that the heating they are hot uh, I think I will um, do the bottoms I don't think they needed it as much as the um, ninja one but you know it's not no harm I don't think so we're just for five minutes Just for five minutes. See you in a bit. Okay, it's just ended the tops, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna leave them to cool before I extract them and put them on my um, uh, plate. Right, kasori, let's check that out. Great. So there was just a five minutes added to the upside down Yorkshire's. Yeah, that's okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna let, again, let these cool and we'll see you when everything's plated up and we can compare the results and taste test one. Happy days. See you in a bit. Oh, right. Well, I'm really pleased. I've got to be honest. The ninja ones, the ones at the front, they're brilliant. They're, uh, they're quite hefty, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, monster Yorkies. Very happy. Um, so those three ninja. And then you've got the Kasori ones. Slightly lighter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to taste this one anyway. They look, they're they all fantastic. I'm very happy with them. I wonder if they could have done with it being a bit longer in the Kasori. 
Oh my god. Whoops. Whoops. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. This is a ninja one. Yeah, it's quite doughy inside. I wonder if it's worth me putting them back in for a few minutes. Very thick. But they did feel a lot heavier. I'm not displeased. I just think that it, it's sort of one of those things where, you know, you're learning as it were and I'm following a specific recipe and it was for an oven <laughs> um, I might throw these back in the, in the ninja to be fair yeah I'm gonna do that I'll be back okay that'll do I've, I've just kind of opened them up so that to get to the inside <laughs> um, I'm just gonna hook them out these are for our dinner later so I'll, they will be uh, be reheated but I'll just kind of test a little bit of the ninja one. Oh, it's hot. A little bit of gravy. Excuse me. Oh, oh this is nice. Oh, crunchy. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it's got a crunch. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. It did get me thinking, I had put these on bake the bake option, I'm actually thinking air fry would be better. Same temperature, same timings. Turn them upside down at the end. Um, but air fry, it's a, it's a sort of harder, faster um, fan. It bake maybe have just have been a bit too soft. So if you do try this, put it on air fry. That's what I'm gonna do next time. Because um, I will do these again, exactly how I did that. I did. Oh, it's making my mouth water. Oh, this is so nice. Decent Yorkshire puddings for um, a Sunday dinner. And it's roast day, because it's Sunday. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.